Welcome to Keep Me Posted with Planet Aid. And today we're going to be talking to Planet Aid School and Community Programs Director, Eric Newman. Eric, how are you doing today? I'm doing really well. Thank you, Monica. Well, today we're going to be talking a little bit about something that the school and community programs did, which was just a wonderful, uh, I guess you could call it an event, <laughs> the National Clothing Drive. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about why you thought it was a good idea just to, to work with children. Why is it important that Planet Aid work with children and students? Wow. Okay. That's a, that's a great question. Thank you. And by the way, thank you for having me on. I think um, you do a great job with these uh, keep me posted um, <laughs> sessions <you>. and uh, <laughs> I'm honored to be a guest. Thank you. Um, we all know that uh, children are the, the future. Um, and I think this uh, generation of children we have right now um, are going to have a very big say in the future of all the species on the planet, including humans. <laughs> um, and what I mean by that is that I would like my children's children to be able to breathe clean air and drink clean water and be able to play outside, eat nutritious food. And I uh, don't just want that for my own grandchildren that aren't born yet, but I want that for everybody's children, whether they be in Mozambique, Montana, Malaysia, all over the world. Um, so it's really important that we prepare our young people right now, this generation, to make sure that future generations can, can have those things, can, can, can you know, be able to enjoy and uh, flourish on this planet. And Eric, you've actually come to the school and community programs from an educational background, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, so, as, as a teacher, yeah. Right, right. And so what would we be surprised to know about what's being taught as far as um, environmental action or, or even environmental inaction as far as with students today? Mm -hmm. um, young people, children want to work together to do good things for their community and their planet. They want to do that, but we don't provide them enough opportunity. I think a lot of people uh, think about young, young kids these days as um, sitting in their rooms playing computer games and doing social media. But, you know, if that's what's available to a young person on the weekend, then what choice do they have? You know, that's where they'll find some fun and entertainment. Uh, but if they're provided the option of uh, participating, let's say, in an environmental action club on their, at their school, that goes out on the weekends and collects clothes for a clothing drive or does some commu community cleanup activity uh, to benefit their local environment, they'll gladly and excitedly participate in that and they'll feel much better about themselves and be excited to learn more things. The, uh, there are a lot of these kind of clubs now starting on, on school campuses and um, Planet Aid and my department wants to support these groups on these school campuses to get these kids engaged in these kind of activities because not only are they good for the local community and the planet, but the kids love it. And they have the boundless energy to support it as well. They do. A lot of times. They do. And I, I think it's funny just, you know, kind of talking about the fact that with teenagers, with children, you can direct them in a way that they 
grow a passion. And, you know, that's one of the things that right. I think we're doing as Planet Aid, kind of, kind of I, I don't know if we're necessarily directing them, but kind of stimulating the passion well, that might I, already be there. I agree. I think that... Um, the question might be why why do we why do we focus on schools right for our planet aid activities and um schools i mean there are a couple levels to that question right and one is very practical um schools are places where um the, the schools are populated by young people who are constantly outgrowing their clothes mm -hmm. <laughs> um so <laughs> whereas i can truthfully say that the shirt I'm wearing today, I've owned for 20 years um, and I'm still, still per perfectly satisfied with wearing it. Mm -hmm. At a school, um, most of the population can't fit the clothes they bought the year before, or they um, want to get something new to keep up with the new trend or something like that, right? Um, so on a practical level, we, we think it's great to provide schools with this opportunity to make sure that all those clothes don't end up in the landfill, but have a much more productive and valuable use, um, providing them to people who, you know, who have great need and really want those clothes. Uh, because the clothes that the kids are dis not using anymore, the unwanted clothes or the, the ones they've grown out of, um, tend to be in really great condition and can be of great value to somebody else on, on our planet. There's a lot of need. There are a lot of people out there who can't afford quality clothing and who really want it. Um, so, you know, that's what Planet Aid does. And we focus on schools because, well, it's a, it's a, it's, there's a lot of unwanted clothes. So we focus on schools because uh, schools are not just a place where the young people are growing physically, but they're also, um, and this gets back to your question, sure. there are, it's, schools are also a place where their, their minds and their outlook and their perspective on the world is being developed. Absolutely. And uh, we want to help support schools um, instill in the young people uh, the valuing not just conservation and recycling, but also um, local and global community service. And that's where our clothing drive campaigns at schools really come in because it's a great opportunity to engage the students in an act that is not just supportive of their local community and, and um, very good for the environment, but is also, um, you know, a humanitarian act as well. Mm -hmm. For people and for the planet. <laughs> exactly.